Hello, this is Rory with the Love Chat, and today's topic is COVID-19 clarifications. So, this is video number 239. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write it in a comment below. And if you enjoy these videos, I would be so very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. If you'd like coaching on your situation, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, let's talk about this whole pandemic thing and how it relates to you and your ex. I have been asked within the past 72 hours, probably at least 200 times, if it is a reasonable response to break no contact, to ask how their ex is faring, your ex, during the pandemic uh, outbreak of COVID-19, the coronavirus. So just so that we can sort of talk through this mentality and why it's not a good idea, let's have a video. Now, no, you should not reach out regarding COVID-19. You should not reach out regarding the flu. You should not reach out regarding Ebola. You should not reach out because the Knicks lost. You should not reach out regardless of what happened. Now, here is why I say this, because many people will make an argument that sometimes it's not that simple. What about the human element? What about the fact that we're just trying to be good people and check in on them? And I hear you. I do. Truly, I do. But that's not why you want to reach out. Meaning, the argument that you're trying to use is an argument of, how can I trick myself into breaking no contact, because this is reasonable. Look, people are dying. COVID-19, man, we got to reach out to our ex. But you guys have to realize that you want to be convinced of the very thing you're trying to do. You want to reach out to your ex. You want to see how they are. You want them to want to engage with you. And you think that this is a reasonable pretense, right? Now, some of you are going to say, well, come on, Rory, that's not fair. I'm a good person and I want to check in on my ex. Fine. I understand that too. But if you're a good person, then be good enough to yourself, too. Because wanting to check in on them and making sure that they're okay is great for them. And, hell, maybe you guys might even have a little bit of a nice conversation. But it's not great for you. Because the reason you're reaching out is still based in wanting to hear from your ex, wanting to engage with your ex, to talk to them, to maybe meet up sometime once this whole thing is blown over. It's not fully about the virus. It's not fully about whatever thing has just happened. Now, now I do have one or two exceptions, but really mainly they're surrounding the passing of a loved one, if somebody has died in their family. And I recommend a very specific type of reaching out, and that is through a card and flowers addressed to the family. I'm sorry for your loss, all of that. But should you directly reach out? No. Because you need to consider your mental health here, now more than ever. Because the pandemic is scary, and people are scared, and some people are still treating it like it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. And I hope everybody's washing their hands and practicing common sense. But at the end of the day, now is the time when people are home, going stir-crazy, thinking about their ex. And now is the time when I want you guys to most focus on yourselves. There is so much that you could be doing. You have access to the internet. An infinite wealth of information is at your disposal. Now's the time to learn a new skill. Now's the time to clean your room. Now's the time to paint or draw or write poetry or music. You have so much free time. Reconnect with an old friend you haven't talked to in a while. Check up on them instead. I know how easy it is to want to reach out to the person who makes you feel safe and secure during a time when you do not feel safe and secure. I get it. Truly, I do. Well, come join us on Discord. There's a description in the link below, and it's free. You want to talk to people who are part of my community, who know me and my videos, and you want help on your situation, that's a great place to start. I know it's scary, but we cannot use this to lower ourself and lower our standards. If somebody broke up with you and walked away from you, reaching out under the pretense of being concerned because of the pandemic is not the way to go. Love yourself enough to stay away from that which is harming you. Love yourself enough to let go of what is hurting you. And this is part of it. I know it's not easy, guys. I do. Trust me, I do. But sometimes it's my job to be an advocate for when you guys can't be advocates for yourself because you're emotional. And you need to remember that emotions will always have you think the worst, particularly when we're talking about breakups, which is the whole context of this channel. So 
I want everybody to stay strong. Leave your comments and thoughts. Let me know how you're doing regarding the COVID-19 virus. I will absolutely be doing a live stream tomorrow. And there we can all hang out, get some questions answered, have a couple of laughs. That will be happening tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope everybody's staying happy and healthy. Remember to wash your hands, practice social distancing, follow whatever your government is telling you to do, and we're all going to get through this just fine. That's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and let me know how you guys are surviving in this pandemic. If you'd like coaching on your particular situation, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. And I'll talk to you all next time.